Hey guys, it's Editing Troy here. Just apologizing in advance. There are some little chops and stuff in the video. I apologize for that. I'm using this mic that I bought on Amazon for too cheap. Um, didn't really work out too well. Also, you guys will notice that there's a little bit of my computer monitor. Um, I recently just got a new setup, um, my, my work from home setup. Um, so I'm doing the best I can. I'm working to make these videos better and better for you guys each and every week. A little bit of setback right now while we get used to things, um, but in, in the future, we have a, I have a new mic that I'm going to be using for future videos. Just have to figure out when I can set that up and, you know, how to get it all running. Um, and I plan to buy a new camera to make things better so I don't have to record on my phone with the back facing the screen. Uh, it's really hard to see with that, but stay tuned for that. I appreciate your guys' support and let's get to the video. Welcome back to the channel and thank you for checking out today's video. So each week I post these videos with the goal of providing you all with a quality list of dividend stocks and some basic data points on each of them. If you guys like the information you see, you'll be able to do your own due diligence research and get paid pretty quickly in those sweet passive dividends. If you guys are interested in all the stocks that I had to pick from before these filters were applied, those will be in the description below the video. But now, let's jump right into this week's countdown. The first stock on the list and my fifth favorite stock of the week is BlackRock, stock ticker BLK. So BlackRock is a quarterly payer in the financial sector, paying out $19.52 per share per year, which is a 2.89% forward dividend yield. BlackRock has been growing and paying their dividend over the last 12 years, and they have a three-year dividend growth rate of 11.9%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 13.47%, and a payout ratio of 47.11%. BlackRock has an ex-dividend date of September 6th and a payout date of September 23rd. And with $10,000 invested in BlackRock just 10 years ago while only reinvesting the dividend since then, BlackRock turns into $49,210.62, which is a 17.27% year-over-year return rate. Comparing that to the S&P turning into $34,624.16, which is a 13.22% year-over-year return rate in the same time frame. Coming in at number four this week, we have Exponent, stock ticker EXPO. Exponent is a quarterly payer in the industrial sector, paying $0.96 cents per share per year with a 0.98% forward dividend yield. Exponent has been growing and paying their dividend over the last eight years, and they have a three-year dividend growth rate of 14.91% a five-year dividend growth rate of 17.67%, and a payout ratio of 46.56%. Exponent has an ex-dividend date of September 8th and a payout date of September 23rd. And with $10,000 invested just 10 years ago in Exponent while only reinvesting the dividends received, Exponent turns into $83,529.99, which is a 23.64% year-over-year return rate. Again, comparing that to the same $34,624.16 from the S&P 500. My third favorite stock this week is Elevance Health, stock ticker ELV. ELV is a quarterly payer in the healthcare sector, paying $5.12 per share per year with a 1.06% forward dividend yield. ELV has been growing and paying their dividend over the last 10 years, and they have a three-year dividend growth rate of 15.85%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 13.14%, and a payout ratio of just 17.08%. ELV has an ex-dividend date of September 8th and a payout date of September 23rd. And with $10,000 invested in ELV just 10 years ago while only reinvesting the dividends received, ELV turned into $96,215.42, which is a 25.4% year over year return rate, comparing that again to the S&P turning into that $34,624.16 in the same time frame. And the runner up this week, my second favorite stock is United Health Group, stock ticker UNH. UNH is a quarterly payer in the healthcare sector, paying $6.60 per share per year with a 1.25% forward dividend yield. UNH has been growing and paying that dividend over the last 12 years, and they still boast a three-year dividend growth rate of 16.65% a five-year dividend growth rate of 17.98%, and a payout ratio of 29.91%. UNH has an ex-dividend date of September 9th and a payout date of September 20th. And with $10,000 invested 10 years ago in UNH while only reinvesting those dividends, UNH turned into $113,158.45, which is a 27.45% year-over-year return rate 
comparing that to the same $34,624.16 from the S&P in the same time frame. And we're going to pause right here before we get to that number one stock. Make sure you guys are leaving a like on the video. It really, really helps out the video and the channel. I appreciate it. And remember, I'm doing this for you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you guys get notified of the new dividend-related content I post every single Monday and Friday. And I'm looking for some interaction on the videos. Make sure you guys are using that description down below. Check the stocks I had to pick from. And if you guys have any of your own favorites, leave those in the comments down below. I'll be sure to read them all and let you know my opinion. But now, let's get to that top stock of the week. So my favorite stock this week coming in at number one is Insperity, stock ticker NSP. NSP is a quarterly payer in the industrial sector paying $2.08 per share per year with a 1.86% forward dividend yield. NSP has been growing and paying their dividends over the last 11 years and listen to these dividend growth rates. We have a three-year dividend growth rate for NSP of 23.2%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 23.53%, and a payout ratio under 50% at 42.69%. NSP has an ex-dividend date of September 8th, and a payout date of September 23rd. And here we are again with the crazy numbers. With $10,000 invested just 10 years ago in NSP, while only reinvesting the dividends that NSP has paid you in return, NSP turned into $120,561.46, which is a 28.26% year over year over year over year return rate. That's insane. Again, this is comparing this to the S&P 500, turning into $34,624.16 in the same time frame. If you guys notice that crazy dividend growth rate from NSP and want to see what other stocks share that in common, make sure you guys are checking out this video for the top dividend growth rates amongst the dividend kings. But until next time, see you.